The day I got hit, I was out on the Illinois River with another group of contract fishermen doing barrier defense. Also on the trip were several other tagalongs, including a professor named Patrick Mills. Mills teaches at Joliet Junior College, which is just a few miles from the spot where the Corps is hoping to erect its disco noise and water jet barrier. Joliet is kind of the tip of the spear, he told me. He was wearing a Joliet Junior College baseball cap with a GoPro camera clipped to the bill. Mills was one of several people I met in Illinois who, for reasons that were not always entirely clear to me, had decided to throw themselves into the fight against Asian carp. A chemist by training, he'd developed a special kind of flavored bait that was supposed to attract carp to the nets. With the help of a local confectioner, he'd produced a truckload of prototypes. These were the size and shape of bricks, and made mostly of melted sugar. It's a bit MacGyvered, Mills acknowledged. The flavor being tested on this day was garlic. I sampled one of the baits, and it tasted, not unpleasantly, like a garlicky Jolly Rancher. Mills informed me that the following week would be devoted to anise, Anise is a very good river flavor, he said. Mills' work had attracted the interest of the U.S. Geological Survey, and a research biologist had come up from Columbia, Missouri, a six-hour drive, to see how the trials were going. The candy maker who'd helped make the baits had come, too, and so had his wife. The Illinois River, at this point, about 80 miles from Chicago, was wide and untrafficked. A pair of bald eagles soared overhead, and fish jumped around and sometimes into the boat. Everyone seemed in a festive mood, except for the fishermen, for whom this was, so to speak, just another day at the office. A few days earlier, the fishermen had set out a couple of dozen hoop nets, which look and function like wind socks. The nets expand when there's water flowing through them, and collapse when there isn't. Half of the hoop nets had been baited with Mills bricks, which hung in little mesh bags. The hope was that the baited nets would attract more carp.